So it looks like it's our annual renewer, renewal of a lot of water business. Anything else in there that you'd like to talk about? That Experiences a small cave in in the mine tunnel that's been repaired. In the main part of the tunnel? Um, it's a good question. I think it was maybe on one of the side tunnels. Did it affect the flow of water? No. Okay, any other questions on the warrants? We bought a new Jeep. Yeah. Are you the Do we have a need for this property within the district? I mean, does the district have a need for it? No, that's 
that's the problem is we have whenever it was purchased I think it was purchased the idea that there needs to be some storm drainage tension in the area we're not in that business the county's in that business developers are in that business but it's yeah. not part of our business at all do you know how much it was purchased for uh, it's about 1.8 million, 1.841. What it was purchased for, or what it's valued at? Do you feel like it's valued it? just over that? Mm -hmm. That it was purchased in that, in the 1.7 to 1.8 million range. Do you feel like we need to go with a closed section to talk about this? Here's my thought. I'm going to share one too. And let me show you my thoughts. I'd like to say let's go with a 30-day deal. And we put the property out there for the developers that it, that it would benefit. We contact them and say this property is up for sale. We give you first right at it. We don't need it. The county doesn't want it. Do you need it? And give them the first right. And if it doesn't, list it with a realtor as soon as possible after they make the decision. Because spring's coming, it's a hot time to sell things, the market's up, and I say we get rid of it if they don't. I'd, I'd rather see this put it on the market and give the county the first right of you to buy it. Okay. Any other thoughts? I just assume we put it on the market and let anybody who wants it call in. I'm a little worried if if that's the right thing to do to try to limit who can uh, get on it, make it on Good point. Here's an idea. Okay. What if we advertise it as being for sale but it's mostly for storm drains or whatever and put a conservation easement on the rest of it right now it's two buildable lots or it could be i understand lots. but there's also tax benefits to putting the conservation easement on there and that might not be a bad idea to s start showing the county that we're trying to accomplish some of these things I mean, I, I think the storm drain from across Sorensen property, that makes sense. I mean, that's something that could be worked on, you know, that it's being used. But the rest of it could be put in a conservation easement. And I don't know, figure out the tax implications, how that helps JSSD, how that helps. Well, um, they wouldn't do anything for JSSD because they're a non tax. It's right now in a conservation easement. Huh? Right now. We're conserving it right now. There's no that, but oh. that's not that's okay. different than the conservation yeah. easement yeah. that's yeah. filed. Who would buy it and then put a conservation easement? On? Some of these Somebody are these developers who need a tax write-off. For the storm drain, then they could write off a lot of it as uh, a conservation easement. But maybe that's the first right of refusal. Is anybody who can come and you know, put a conservation easement on it to help them, you know, these big developers, they're looking for tax write-offs. Would that work, Steve? Yeah. I mean, it's it's a thought. See if anybody comes forward that way first before you sell it in other ways. Who would hold the easement? Are we holding developer? No. No, either the county or you can open or something like that. Do you think that's a good way to go? I do. Because we already got the five-acre parcel right out, and right out of a portion of that that uh, that for Johansson bought. Is it them or Sorensen? No, Sorensen. Well, they own five acres of this right. of this forty for seven acre, aren't they? And they own five acres above the forty-seven. So total is 52, 52 acres, but the five acres is. On one end or in the middle of this piece, it's on the it's on the south end. South end. Okay. So it's the, the win-win would be for the developer to buy it, put in the storm drain, it would always be remain would remain open. It would, it would be a there. deeded conservation easement. And they'd be willing to do that because of the tax benefits. The worst case scenario is there would be two homes on there, or somebody bought it privately. Okay. Uh, I don't. This has been in our. We've, we've held this ground long enough that I don't think we're in a terribly big hurry to do this, and I don't think it would be a bad thing to hold on, offer it that way, but try to find that right buyer. I think that would do it that do that exact thing. What do you think? The only the only rush to hold the, to get do so is the fact that Jordan now the JSSD has got 1.8 million dollars tied up in this property, 
mm -hmm. that they're getting no good use out of and no potential to get any use out of. Yeah, are, you, are you guys on the, both of you are on local lands? Mm -hmm. Could you work with Ron to help figure out how to create a listing for it so that it fits what we're trying to do, or what do you think? I don't know how you'd list it. With Maybe you could talk to the... With a condition you put a conservation in. Ken? I'm in pretty much constant communication with the developers that would be it would be useful for. We could just and I think I think that's the way to do it. It sell it as a storm drain facility with the idea that we work with them for a conservation easement on it to give them some tax credit. And then they could write off. On, the, on what they did need for storm drain. Well, even what they used for storm drain, we put a conservation easement on it. Yeah. It just has to be depressed, right? I mean, there has to be a berm on the lower side to, to restrain it. So we could still leave it in pretty much a natural condition. Mm -hmm. I like that idea better in the county long term, I guess, would own it at the end and have to maintain the storm water facilities on it. But no, if we sell it to the developer, it and for conservation, they have to maintain. We're just selling capacity, though, probably to them, aren't we? We're because the whole the whole yeah, 52 so acres. We're selling the property. It's like they're storm drain. Yeah, free title to it. Okay. So and then they have a the storm drain system, and then we ask them to put a conservation easement on it. We have, we say we'll we'll support a conservation easement on it, and give you the tax credit. How would the storm drain? I mean, the storm drain needs to be a series of ponds. I guess, I guess that's what I'm, the only thing I'm worried about is if you have five developers to buy it, that's 20% of it, and then... I think you'd have one big pond, and what? And each, each developer would get a percentage of capacity in that pond, right? And then they'd build the pond, and then turn it over to somebody to hold the conservation easement. And they'd each get a share of the tax credit. Yes. yes. Based on how much the how much of the piece they own. I think that's a lot, a lot better way to get rid of it than to put it out on the market. If we got the enough demand for the storm drainage on it. Here's a thought, you know, tying them all together, I think you're putting it out on the market might be a good idea because then it's open to everybody. The developers have to compete with the public and the price could go up even more possibly because maybe an individual really wants it. And then do what Steve said and say, hey, let's have the county as the first right of refusal. And we can also, have uh, part of the negotiations that we can throw in there, it doesn't have to be part of the listing unless we can legally do that. As far as saying we'd like to have a conservation at the end of the year, this is what we recommend. But it would just I'll go back to Danny's thought about why just offer it to the developers and put it up to everybody and then it's a free market and the price might go up a little bit. Well, I think what they're saying is if we open it up to the, to the free market, but in our listing, say this property is, is you know, primarily beneficial for storm drainage and conservation easement. Is that, is that what you were saying or did I get it wrong? Well, we'd probably be better off having Ron sole source of some buyers that has the need for it. Okay, so we kind of went around in a circle then. I, I, I would be a little reluctant, in my opinion, to list it because um, I'd like to avoid paying a commission unless we owe one to Tracy for coming up with the idea. Okay. <laughs> and I'll donate it to the uh, Open Lands Fund. How's that? And that would give us $15 to work with. <laughs> Yay! That's why I'm offering it to you guys. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I suggested in the beginning. We approach the developers on it and see if they would like it. You've got that list. Is that, is that the direction we'd like to give? Uh, the and we could always talk to Wendy Fisher about how to do it and how to, I mean, you know, facilitate it. But if that's the first option. Yeah. I don't really know what we're doing. Okay, so we're going to give directions to the manager to just talk to it with the developers. Yeah, so basically just go ask the developer, if you want to buy it, here's how you can use it. Well, well, this, just to use it for storm drainage. This is something we need for storm drainage. Yeah. And let me look at their their preliminary projects and they calculate how much of it they need. So if nobody bikes, then after that's not listed. And, and I'll make it clear to them that this is the first step. 
later. Yeah, but don't come up say if we put a price on up a, a million eight. Okay, you got direction there? Uh, well, a million eight with the fact that the district will work with you on the conservation easement to give you a tax break or tax credit that you could write off. So that million eight may only end up being 700,000 or something like that of actual cash outlay. Okay, you got your direction? So we're going to for everybody. Okay, very good. Thanks. Any further discussion? So we'll move on to number eight. Thank you. General Manager's report. Why are there? Uh, I have no report. Other business number nine. I have no other business. I have a business from the board. Any need for a closed session? Motion to adjourn. Really? Okay, we have a motion to adjourn. Do a second. I'll second that. Second. Anything else to talk about? Any motion? I just had to make sure. Yeah, I thought you were shocked. Were, I was so early. Like, we went through it. I just like that. Thank you for being here.